A grammatical puzzle that has defeated scholars since the 5th century BC has finally been solved. Dr. Rishi Rajpapat, an Indian PhD student at the University of Cambridge, has decoded a rule that devised by the father of linguistics Pini. The rule is a fundamental part of an ingenious grammatical system created by Pini, called the language machine, intended to teach India's sacred Sanskrit language. The discovery makes it possible to derive any Sanskrit word to construct millions of grammatically correct words including mantra and guru using Pini's revered language machine, which is widely considered to be one of the great intellectual achievements in history. Leading Sanskrit experts have described Rajpapat's discovery as revolutionary and it could now mean that Pini's grammar can be taught to computers for the first time. While researching his PhD thesis Dr. Rajpapat decoded a 2,500-year-old algorithm that makes it possible, for the first time, to accurately use Pinius language machine. Pinius system, 4,000 rules detailed in his greatest work, the Adi, which is thought to have been written around 500 BC, is meant to work like a machine, feed in the base and suffix of a word and it should turn them into grammatically correct words and sentences through a step-by-step -step process. Until now, however, there has been a big problem. Often, two or more of Pinius rules are simultaneously applicable at the same step, leaving scholars to agonize over which one to choose. Solving so-called rule conflicts, which affect millions of Sanskrit words including certain forms of mantra and guru, requires an algorithm. Pini taught a meta rule to help us decide which rule should be applied in the event of rule conflict, but for the last 2,500 years, scholars have misinterpreted this meta rule, meaning that they often ended up with a grammatically incorrect result. In an attempt to fix this issue, many scholars laboriously developed hundreds of other meta-rules, but Dr. Rajpapat shows that these are not just incapable of solving the problem at hand, they all produced too many exceptions, but also completely unnecessary. Rajpapat shows that Pini's language machine is self-sufficient. Rajpapat said, Pini had an extraordinary mind and he built a machine unrivaled in human history. He didn't expect us to add new ideas to his rules. The more we fiddle with Pinius grammar, the more it eludes us. Traditionally, scholars have interpreted Pinius meta rule as meaning that in the event of a conflict between two rules of equal strength, the rule that comes later in the grammar's serial order wins. Rajpapat rejects this, arguing instead that Pini meant that between rules applicable to the left and right sides of a word respectively, Pini wanted us to choose the rule applicable to the right side. Employing this interpretation, Rajpapat found Pinius language machine produced grammatically correct words with almost no exceptions. Take mantra and guru as examples. In the sentence Dev Prazen Mantrai, the gods, Dev, are pleased, Prazen, by the mantras, Mantrai, we encounter rule conflict when deriving Mantrai by the mantras. The derivation starts with Mantra plus Bis. One rule is applicable to left part, Mantra, and the other to right part, Bis. We must pick the rule applicable to the right part, bis, which gives us the correct form, mantrai. In the the sentence jna diate guru, knowledge, jna, is given, diate, by the guru, guru, we encounter rule conflict when deriving guru by the guru. The derivation starts with guru plus a, one rule is applicable to left part, guru, and the other to right part, a. We must pick the rule applicable to the right part, a, which gives us the correct form, guru. Six months before Rajpapat made his discovery, his supervisor at Cambridge, Vincenzo Vergiani, professor of Sanskrit, gave him some prescient advice, if the solution is complicated, you are probably wrong. Rajpapat said, I had a eureka moment in Cambridge. After nine months trying to crack this problem, I was almost ready to quit, I was getting nowhere. So I closed the books for a month and just enjoyed the summer, swimming, cycling, cooking, praying and meditating. Then, begrudgingly I went back to work, and within minutes, as I turned the pages, these patterns started emerging, and it all started to make sense. There was a lot more work to do, but I'd found the biggest part of the puzzle. Over the next few weeks I was so excited, I couldn't sleep and would spend hours in the library, including in the middle of the night to check what I'd found and solve related problems. That work took another two and a half years. Professor Vincenzo Vergiani said, My student Rishi has cracked it, he has found an extraordinarily elegant solution to a problem which has perplexed scholars for centuries. This discovery will revolutionize the study of Sanskrit at a time when interest in the language is on the rise. Sanskrit is an ancient and classical Indo-European language from South Asia. 
It is the sacred language of Hinduism, but also the medium through which much of India's greatest science, philosophy, poetry and other secular literature have been communicated for centuries. While only spoken in India by an estimated 25,000 people today, Sanskrit has growing political significance in India and has influenced many other languages and cultures around the world. Rajpapat said, some of the most ancient wisdom of India has been produced in Sanskrit and we still don't fully understand what our ancestors achieved. We've often been led to believe that we're not important, that we haven't brought enough to the table. I hope this discovery will infuse students in India with confidence, pride, and hope that they too can achieve great things. A major implication of Dr. Rajpapat's discovery is that now that we have the algorithm that runs Peneus Grammar, we could potentially teach this grammar to computers. Rajpapat said, computer scientists working on natural language processing gave up on rule-based approaches over 50 years ago. So teaching computers how to combine the speaker's intention with Peneus rule-based grammar to produce human speech would be a major milestone in the history of human interaction with machines, as well as in India's intellectual history.